crush a soft drink can with the power of air. How to tell the age of a fish. What makes your fingers go all wrinkly. And how to shrink a snow pile. But first, fasten your seatbelts. Secure your tray tables. Because Olivia and Damon are about to take us on a flight into aviation history. Damon and I are going to build a propeller-powered stunt plane. Here's the propeller and its elastic band engine. Let's get building. We need one sheet and two strips of balsa wood, a small bead with a hole in the middle, a few paper clips and some strong glue. The first thing to do is make the wings. Draw a wing shape on the balsa sheet using a ruler. Ours is about 40 centimetres from wing tip to wing tip with a slight bend in the centre. Now the two tail pieces. One is 10 centimetres wide with a point on the front like this. And the other is the upright fin. It looks like this. OK, co-pilot Damon can cut those out with the scissors. Make sure you get the edges nice and straight. There. That's the wing, the tail and the upright fin. Cut two short equal lengths of bolster strip. Pop a hole through the middle of each of them, like this. Now for the body of the plane. Glue the strips of bolster together to form a rectangle. One of the short pieces is at each end. There. Looking good. All it needs now is an engine. Zach is the world's slowest washer-upper. He's been there for hours. I bet his fingers are wrinkly as prunes. Yep. How gross. Those fingers look like they're a thousand years old. I wonder why fingers don't wrinkle up so much in salty seawater. Time for an experiment. Excuse me, Zach. I just need to get two glasses of warm water from the washing up sink. One and two. Get busy, dish boy. Into the water on the left, I'm going to add a big spoon of salt. Stir that in so it dissolves. And then put a couple of brave test fingers into each glass. Hey, I wonder how the washing up's going. Looks like Mr. Wrinkle Fingers has decided to get the job finished quick spot. Go, Zach! You're a dishwashing machine. Done. Time to see if salty water wrinkles up my fingers as much as fresh water. There's my fresh water fingers. They look pretty wrinkled. But look at the fingers I had in the salty water. They're not half as wrinkly. When your fingers are in fresh water, the concentration of salt is higher in the cells of your skin than in the water. So water gets absorbed by the skin. As the cells swell up with water, the skin wrinkles. But when your fingers are in salt water, the concentration of salt is higher in the water. So not as much water ends up in the skin cells. Nice job on the washing up, Zach. But you missed out these two glasses. Clever work, Grace. Nothing like a bit of kitchen science to keep those wrinkles away. Mm -hmm. And down at the aviation hangar, there's lots of clever science just waiting in the wings. Our fabulous fly machine is takey shape. We've built the wings and the body. Now for powered flight. Damon's going to make the hooks for our elastic band powered engine. Unbend the paper clip, poke it through the little hole and fold one end over to hold it in place. Do the same thing at the other end. Now put a little bead over the paper clip at one end and this will keep the propeller away from the balsa wood frame. On goes the propeller. Now bend the paper clip over the front of the propeller to hold it in place. Join the two elastic bands in a loop knot like this. One end goes over the propeller hook and the other end over the fixed hook. Now glue 
glue the tail pieces together and use more glue to attach them at the back. Now the wings. Plenty of glue and stick them a few centimetres from the front. That looks cool! When the glue is dry, we'll push forward the front ears of flight as we know it. The paper recycling goes in that box and plastic bottles go in there. Uh-oh, we're out of room for bottles. Better squash a few so they can fit. Hey, I'm going to show Larissa another way to crush a plastic bottle. And it's a lot more fun than sorting out recycling. Here's how we do it. Start with an empty bottle. Fill it about one third full of warm water. That should do it. Warm water heats up the air inside and makes it expand. Time to screw the lid on tight. Now I'm going to lie the bottle down in this box while Larissa pours icy cold water over it. Now I stand the bottle in the cold water and look what's happening. It's crumpling all on its own. That's amazing. Because the air inside the bottle is heated by the warm water, it contains lots of energy. That means it exerts an outward pressure on the sides of the bottle. But when the air is cooled, its energy is reduced and the outward pressure drops. If the air pressure outside is greater than inside, the bottle is squashed. For our next trick, Larissa will slam dunk the squished bottle. Yay! Now that's what I call you when you see your head. Awesome! From this to this. Imagine if you could use that trick to reduce the size of... Hmm, your homework? The mess in your bedroom? Or maybe even that humongous snowdrift that your dad wants you to shovel away. Oh man! Dad wants us to move this huge pile of snow. It's blocking the pathway. Mommy gets really tired and grumpy when there's so much snow to shift. I know something that'll cheer him up. I'll make him think this snowdrift is half its size. I need a straight edge container. Now this jar is about five double finger widths high. I'll get Herman to fill it with snow. Pack it in, Herman. Perfect. Now I'll just pop the jar on the table and do some puzzles while it melts. Aha! Uh -huh. Just as I thought. About half as much water. Let's check. Yep, about two and a half double finger widths. Walker is exactly right. Snow is made of tiny frozen ice crystals surrounded by lots of air gaps. Herman packed the snow in tightly, so only about half was actually water, the rest was air. For freshly fallen snow, air makes up as much as 90% of a snowdrift. See, we're shuffling mostly air. Come on. Oh dear, it might be half air, but it's still a lot of snow. draw a line on this post. It shows exactly how much we've grown in 12 months. Good growing, Carrie ann Now my turn. Make sure you get it right. Wow, I shot off by that much. I wonder how you tell how old other things are. Where are you going? Ah, interesting. Yep, you can tell the edge of a tree by its tree rings. One for each growing season. Hey, I've just remembered a growth ring I bet Carrie Ann has never thought of. Wait here. Okay, for starters, a magnifying glass and a piece of black paper. Now for the main course. Wait till she sees this. Ta-da! Tonight's dinner. 
fish. And we're about to find out exactly how old they are. You take one of their scales, it's perfectly harmless. On the paper it goes, there. Now let's have a look under the magnifying glass. Wow, this fish has done some serious growing. Here, you have a look. You have to look carefully. See, they're just like tree rings. Groovy, huh? Yep, just like a tree, a fish develops growth rings on each of its scales. The rings are composed of little deposits of calcium. Count the rings and you get a fair idea of how many birthdays your fish has had. Some reef fish live for just a few weeks, but the oldest fish can reach the grand old age of 50 years. Hey, I reckon we're about the same age as this fish. Pity's gonna be dinner tonight. Your growing days are over, fish. Taryn, what are you doing? Well, your skin's kind of scaly. I'm just trying to find out how old you are. Oh, that's it. I'm off to see how Damon and Olivia's plane's coming along. Damon and I have built a propeller-powered stunt plane. And we're ready for our first test flight. We need to wind up the propeller. This stores energy in the elastic band engine. Wind check. Thumbs up from the control tower. Here it goes. Yay! Nearly made it all the way across the front yard. What legends! Driven by the energy stored up in the rubber band, Olivia and Damon's propeller turns fast enough to drag air towards it. The angled blades accelerate air past them, creating what's called thrust. Thrust pulls the plane forward, hopefully at a high enough speed to keep it airborne for the duration of the flight. Another test flight. Let's put more power in the elastic band this time. And take off! Wow, it dive bombs as well. This plane really is going to make aviation history. Cool! Up, up and away, the only way to go. And it's time we were up, up and away too, Donna, because we've come to the end of another show. See, See you next time. time.